Tonic is written and directed by Derek Presley, an urban noir led by a complicated anti-hero knee-deep in trouble. Sebastian Poe, a washed-up piano player, spends his days and nights performing low-playing gigs in jazz clubs and dive bars. He is in debt to a corrupt police detective, who asks him to kill someone to cover his debt. Over the course of the night, Sebastian will wander the dark streets of the city, coming across an odd assortment of characters. Right off the bat, this movie reminded me a lot of Martin Scorsese's After Hours. You know, an odd main character, an impossible task, an endless night. But in this case, things get a little bit more dramatic. All the characters feel so believable. The way they speak, the way they move, how they interact with each other. Terry, the dirty detective, was hands down my favorite character. He handles a level of intensity that never backs down. Not for a second. I really liked the camera work. You feel as if you're tagging along the main character all night through. It becomes an immersive experience that enhances the storytelling. In spite of all its complications plot-wise, this is a straightforward story. A guy owes some other guy money. He has one night to figure out how to repay him and sort his problems out ASAP. Once the conflict is set, we are just front row witnesses of Sebastian's downward spiral. The bluish and reddish neon lights become the main lighting source. They help shaping this run-down city. This dirty city where all the characters live in. So, in a way, the city ends up becoming a reflection of those very same characters. Regardless of a stretched out third act, Tonic makes the most out of its one-night misadventure structure. With a lack of a lead full of shortcomings that takes us on a trip through the darkest corners of addiction, violence and despair. So I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Thank you guys as always for watching. Tonic is currently on the festival circuit, so if you happen to see it, please feel free to return to this review and just drop a comment below. I will continue doing both English and Spanish reviews on my channel, so if you would like to subscribe, that would actually be awesome. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.